first of all, welcome. I appreciate you guys coming in and talking to us. Thank Glad you. Glad to be here. Uh, first of all, who wants to tell us what the Optimist Club is? A lot of people are familiar with, with civic organizations. Uh, maybe not so much the Optimist Club. So wh what do the Optimists uh, do? I think Bill could do a better job. Uh, Bill, tell me about the Optimist Club. Well, you and I have talked about this before. Yeah, we've talked about it quite a bit. I've been in the Optimist Club for about 37 years. The motto of the club is friend of youth. So the projects that we do is dealing with young people. Mm -hmm. I mean, we do some community projects, but almost always dealing, dealing with kids. Mm -hmm. And of course, our newest project that we'll be talking about is our Computer for Kids program. Okay, Computer for Kids program. Now, over the course of time, 30 plus years, uh, of course, we didn't have computers uh, readily available to the masses 30 plus years ago. So what were the optimists doing uh, prior to the Computers for Kids? I mean, I know you have, you had the, uh, didn't you have an iodine? Uh, uh, no, that was another organization. Yeah. We, the club, the Optimist organization itself does a lot with oratorical contests, essay contests. We sponsor the hearing impaired oratorical contest, mm -hmm. which is held at the School for the Deaf in Wilson. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you go back many years, a lot of ball teams are sponsored by the Optimist mm -hmm. Club, athletic uh, events, golf. Uh, golf. Mm -hmm. What used to be the junior world of golf, yeah. uh, the Optimist organization. They were going to fold, and the organization took that over several years ago, so we now sponsor that. Okay. Uh, and I know the Optimist Club is an international organization. Yes. You're, you're yeah. very large. Yeah. A very large organization. I think we're probably the fourth largest civic club, international yeah. civic club. We're in about 25 different countries, but primarily in the United States and Canada. Yeah. Charlie, uh, tell me about the Computers for Kids program. Um, well, I think it's been about a year or so ago that uh, Bill gave us a challenge in our club uh, to come up with some fresh ideas to uh, support the uh, youth in our community. And uh, one evening I was working on a friend, uh, his computer, he's a member of the Optimist Club, I was working on his daughter's computer, mm -hmm. and an idea hit me that, uh, hey, this is something that we might be able to do. So Bill and I talked about it for a couple of months and uh, came up with a plan and we started implementing uh, the plan uh, last last May, sometime mm -hmm. around last May. Mm -hmm. And so we've been working uh, all during that time, uh, working on computers for kids, at mm -hmm. least most, most of my time has been spent on that, and Bill has spent a lot of time on it too. But we're starting to get more members involved, and we're starting to get more interest in the public uh, with the program because they're, they have an interest in doing things like that, working on computers. So um, to date, we've uh, distributed uh, about 27 computers, 26 or 27 computers, and it touches 66 to 67 kids that are in school in Wayne County. Wow. Uh, they're now, in middle or high school. Yeah. So D do these computers go directly to the student or the child? To the family. To and the, the child. family and the child. Yeah. So everybody right. in the family can use it. It's not right. just for the child right. to use it. It's right. everyone in the family can use it. Now, right. in, this, in this day and time, uh, you, you have to have, you almost have to have a computer. Now, there's some diehards out there that say, well, I don't want anything to do with it. You know, I right. don't understand it, don't need it. But, the, but children need it now because that's, what the, that's where the schools have gone. Uh, information technology, that highway is just jam-packed with so much information and the youngsters have to know how to use computers. In fact, yeah. most of them understand it before more than adults do anyway already. Right. They, they know how, but if they don't have a computer in their home that they can do their homework on, right. they just get further and further behind in school and a lot of them drop out. That's true. So That's, and, and that, unfortunately, is the beginning yeah. of, of just getting worse for them. Yeah. Uh, and you, you hit on a good point there. A lot of uh, schools will require uh, require uh, computer knowledge and com computer usage oh, yes. and yes. IT information yes. and actually uh, have homework due on computers. Right. Mm. And that means that the child or the student would have to go to either to a friend's house, to the public library or somewhere like that. And well, that's what we're finding in most cases where the kids don't have a computer is they have to go somewhere else, yeah. you know, like, like the library or like some friend's home or, or uh, you know, a neighbor. Mm. But but uh, that's one of the reasons we got started in that was because we saw a great need for kids in our community 
that didn't have computers from low-income families. That, you know, most of the kids don't have computers. Yeah. And so we're working with the school system, the social workers and the school system uh, to identify the kids in our community who are in the 6th through the 12th grade, you know, who have a need for a computer and okay. they refer them back to us and then we review an application and we, we generally we approve everybody, mm -hmm. you know, that applies. Yeah. They, because, because it's easy to find someone who needs and but can't afford right. a computer. Yeah. They generally have to pay $40 to get it. And when they get the computer, they go through a short training period and they train on the computer that they're going to take home with them. Mm -hmm. right. So they don't get okay. home and there'll be a little bit of difference. And here try to that. figure it out yeah. themselves, which right. could often result in disaster. And, and we've had some scholarships, some money donated for... If people just can't afford the $40, mm -hmm. then we'll work with them. Work, yeah, but we haven't out. turned anyone down at this point. And so far, everyone's gotten a computer that they've been supplied. able to. Right, yeah. Yeah. right. And, and from where do these computers come? They come from the community. Uh, where? Pe people in the community. Yeah. We had a business last week that donated nine computers to us. Just gave you nine computers. Right. Yeah. Because he knew of the program. Right. Yeah. And I know who you're talking about. Good. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> well, he's, uh, he's then, uh, is that is that kind of community participation though that makes it yeah. work. And he's a local businessman, and 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 he was refurbishing his computer system in his business. Yeah. But now there's a lot of people in that situation who are local businesses yeah, right. who are upgrading or updating, yeah. and they need the 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 newest and the bestest and the greatest and the fastest to right. to run, run their business. But those computers are not always necessary for a child who needs it for great right. for school. Right. And of course, we get them from individuals also. And we, um, we once a month, we have a, a Sam's Club Day. Mm -hmm. We go out to Sam's Club's parking lot on the second Saturday of each month from 10 to 2 and collect computers from the public at that time. Do you know? Yeah. And we yeah. also have a couple of other drop-off points. We've got three drop-off points where the businesses have allowed us to, since they are open all during the day, Goldsboro Builders, uh, Mount Olive Builders, and Judith McMillan's Prudential Real right Estate on Office. North Berkeley Boulevard. Yeah, right. people can drop off computers there, and then they call us, and we'll go. We go pick them up. All right. So that's Goldsboro Builders on Paytown Road. Yes. Right. Uh, Mount, Mount Olive, Olive Builders on Mount Olive, Olive Builders 55. on 55 in Mount Olive, and then so, Judith yeah. McMillan's place and. Uh, isn't Judith yeah. wonderful? Isn't she great? She, she's very involved with the community. Yes, she is. We appreciate yes, her yes, help in that. So. And, and of course, Goldsboro Builders as well, and Mount Olive as well, uh, yeah. all involved in the community. So right. you, if you have a computer that you, you, can, you feel can be used elsewhere uh, for these children, uh, Judith McMillan's Prudential mm -hmm. uh, Realty, Real Estate on uh, North Berkeley and Goldsboro, Builder Supply and Mount Olive Builder Supply. Hmm. Uh, now you mentioned also Saturday at Sam's Club. That's a, the second Saturday. That'll be this Saturday. This Saturday. All right. That hmm. would be the today's the. That would be whatever day this hmm. is. Saturday. Uh, the today is, We recorded the. Yeah, I think it's on the hmm. ninth. Now this hmm. will this will. Uh, in fact, I may have to cut this out. I'm going to cut this out because it's not going to air until next week. Okay. So I'm just going to say, three, two, one, three, two, one. So the second Saturday of each month also, you uh, have a uh, gathering at Sam's Club right. to collect computers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, what if someone doesn't have a computer, but they have a monitor, they have a keyboard, and maybe they have a mouse? We take everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. That's now, computer related. Exactly. Computer. You don't take TVs. No. You don't take anything else no. electronic. You no. only take peripherals like printers. Right. You take printers. You take Keyboard, scanners. You keyboards, take keyboards. Mouse. Uh, um. Anything a child could use cables. to help the school. Cables. Yeah. You take cables. Yes. That's yeah. so important. Yes, uh, okay. Uh, but now what about if it's not in pristine condition? Well, what we do is we, we take each computer and analyze what's wrong with it mm -hmm. and whether or not we can use it. Mm -hmm. If we feel like it's, it's worth refurbishing, we'll clean it, add more memory, add more disk space if needed and uh, put, get it in a state where we can start putting a new copy of uh, Microsoft uh, operating system on it. Great. So, the, so the systems, when we get through with them, they come with a, a clean version of Microsoft uh, uh, XP Pro or Windows 7 Pro. And also, right. we also include uh, Microsoft Office. Do you? Yes. 
So my goodness. So we're a Microsoft registered refurbisher and we're able to get the software at a very reasonable price. I was going to ask about yeah. that. So you were licensed as a refurbisher yeah. then? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Because of Charlie. Because of Charlie. <laughs> but Charlie's an IT man, uh, obviously. Uh, obviously. Yeah. But at least once he gets through determining if it's usable or not to pass on, yeah. If it is, then I know how to tear them apart. Oh, do you? So I, I'm learning. <laughs> He's our cleanup man. Yeah. All right. All right. I know you've got three or four screwdrivers on you. Where are they? Get rid of them right now. <laughs> um, something else we, we do, though, pertaining to kids, because and it goes right along the same line. The, some of the pediatric centers here have the reach out, for, reach out and read program for children that visit their, yes. their office. Yes. We have purchased books for that program also. Have you? Because it's the same thing really. If the kid doesn't have books to read growing up, then they start out behind mm -hmm. and then get further behind. So we, yeah. as an optimist club, we want to do everything we can to to give them a, an equal chance. You give them encouragement is what you give yeah. them. You, and, I, and I tell you something, a child who is encouraged is more likely to become successful and keep an interest in learning. Right. If a child is not encouraged and if a child gets bored with learning, then he's not gonna, and he's not gonna wanna learn. Right. So he's just going to, and if he doesn't have anything to learn on, if he doesn't have right. a computer. Doesn't have the tools. To doesn't it. have the tools, mm -hmm. he's not yeah. going to. And, mm -hmm. he, and, it's, and, yeah. and that's sad, it's really it sad. It really is. So, so I, I salute you guys for doing this. This is a, this is a fantastic uh, 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 effort on, on the part of the Optimist Club here in Wayne County. Now, do you ever do you ever need new members? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, we yes. could use a few. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd ask, you know. Especially if they yeah. have computer skills. Ah, yes. We, okay, well, let me ask you about this now. Uh, where do you do this computer work? Uh, we've, uh, we've been, to, Habitat for Humanity has allowed us to use their warehouse down on George Street. So we've been doing a lot of it there. Uh, Literacy Connection then allows us to take the computers over there and add the programs to it. And but right. uh, And we do the training from there. And yeah. you do the training also. Yeah. But things have, things have changed now, or changed. But things, yeah. yeah, things are in the process of changing because we've got a building space at 205 East Walnut Street, right across the corner from, from you here. Um, and once we get set up, we will be using that for the whole process. That's uh, great. So would people then be able to bring their computers yes. into that location? Yes. Yes. Okay. But you're not set up quite yet? Not quite. No, we've got to have hours established for that. Okay. Uh, and then uh, we'll publicize it. All right. So. Well, we'll want to know about uh, that so yeah. we can tell everybody where to bring their computers and such. Yeah. But are you, will, after that, will you still have the collection at Sam's Club? Oh, yeah. Okay. You're yeah. still going to have that the second Saturday of right. each yeah. month? Yes. And and probably still maintain the three drop-off points drop that we have now. Right. So. Well, that makes it, that's convenient. Yeah. Especially Mount Olive, you know, when people yeah. in the southern end of the county can't get all the way up here whenever right. they like. Yeah. Uh, goals for a builder supply in Judith McMillan's place, that's great. Mm -hmm. And if, yeah. if, if a business uh, has a large number of computers, yes. we'll go out and pick them up. If a business, yeah. you, you hear this now, if a business has a large number of computers to donate, then they'll come get them. And yeah. what, we, what we also do in, the, in our refurbishing process is uh, we wipe the hard disk drive clean from any data that's on the, com on the computer. Right. That way we ensure whoever's donating the computers right. with the hard drives that their personal data is wiped off. So we use a, a pro couple of programs that we use to do this that is sanctioned by the, by the government uh, Department of Defense. Right, very good. That yeah. way they're not getting programs that they don't need to be seeing. Right. Yeah. And to better identify a large number, if they've got four or five or six computers, we'll yes. come pick them up. If they have four or five or six, yeah. minimum of, let's say minimum, minimum four, five, or five. four or five. Four or five, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm trying to get you some computers. Hey, well, if you've got 30 computers, they'll come get them. Oh, but less you, than that. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, okay, four or five, they'll come <laughs> In get In fact, we did get 30 computers last year from one location. Did you really? Yeah, mm -hmm. from uh, St. Mary's School. Really? Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? And that is wonderful. Uh, the Electrolux plant in Kinston. In Kinston? We know the IT guy there, and, and we haven't started. We've gotten a few from them, but he told me earlier that after the first of the year, they would be replacing probably 50 computers. All right. And... 
We'll go get them. Well, again, <laughs> if you have a business and you are updating your system, this is where you can take your, your old computers because there's a lot of places that just don't take them uh, yeah. because for whatever reason. But these gentlemen will take anything you have to do with computers, cables, peripherals, anything like that. Guys, I appreciate you coming in. If somebody okay. wants to either become a part of the Optimist Club here in Goldsboro or if they want to send you computers, or how do they get in touch with you? Uh, we have a website, goldsboroptimist.org. Yeah. And we explain everything about the Computers for Kids program on the website, and we have all our contact numbers and everything uh, located there. On the website, and I just put that on the screen right there. You can see yep. it right, 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 over, right over there. Yep. See it right there. It is right there. <laughs> so our website has all the information anyone needs to, to know about our program. Okay, very good. Fellas, thank you so much for being with us today. I do appreciate uh, Bill Edgerton with us. And you mentioned Habitat for Humanity. You know anything about that organization? I know a little bit about little bit, it. Okay. It's, a, it's an outstanding program to help low-income families get housing. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> eh? But Okay. Right. Thank you, Bill. All right. Charlie, thank, thank you, you so much. Appreciate you. you guys. Thank you. Thank you.